Right, Sean's got me out today. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, mate. Thanks for getting us out, Sean. Good luck to you as well, bud. And we're really excited. And best find of the day wins this nice Mercedes, apparently. So I've heard. Anyway, Lucifer's Death Squad. Well, I brought me Equinox uh, headphones today. But I didn't bring me Equinox and I forgot me Deus headphones. So I'm on no headphones, but we don't need them. Because there's a banger of a signal. That's a Roman in situ on the surface, so I'll grab it now. We was with, what was it? I was out on a dig last week, no, two weeks ago. Sean Croker, or his stocker was there. The guy who stepped on an IED in Afghan. Oh, bless. I was out with the veterans up in Ancaster, yeah. and uh, a couple of them had prosthetic yeah. legs. Yeah, both legs. Yeah, bless. I did, I was out with, yeah. it might be the same guy, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is the Roman. We've just give it a clean. Can't ID it yet, but that, that ain't bad for a surface find. I'm happy with that. And, uh, me and Martin have just been putting the metal detecting well to rights. Good luck for the rest of the day, mate. Got to fly past. Uh, also got a Roman here, I've been finding all kinds of signals, lots of conductors, just nothing really that you want to take home, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's another Roman, so that's two, been going about a couple of hours, give it a little wipe, he's quite worn this one, you can just about Make out vaguely a face facing right there. Could have been old Carousius that, but it's well worn. A little bit more that side, where the god or goddess was. I'll take it, I'll take it kids. Hopefully get a silver or yellow one in a minute. Skip all the way home if I do. Absolutely stunning. Uh... Sunday morning this is. This is just a bit down past um, Reading little village. Uh, that hole there if you can see the dark bit just there. That was uh, where the last Roman was. I've been gridding it, dug a hole there, dug a hole there, dug a hole there, dug one there, dug one there. So I Gridding, dug five or six holes, no Romans. I, this may not be a Roman, but it certainly may well be. So, let's have a look. I think it's a, a rotted out modern one. Oh, I don't know. Don't know what's going on, but if it's rusty, it's fairly modern. I was hoping that was a Roman, but. I'll give it a clean. I'm on my original nine inch coil today. That last one I was just looking at, I was a modern rotted out rusty penny. I haven't touched this yet. I know what I want it to be. i really hoping this is a big cistercius. But after that last one let me down. I ain't counting my chickens till it's in my hand. Oh yeah, it's gotta be. Oh yes. That's a big old Roman look. Well worn, but still a big handful of a Roman. So I still love them. It's beautiful. Oh yes, yes. Oh, it's one of the ladies. It'll be Faustina, probably. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that, children. Taking me time, this bottom end wasn't known for its Romans. I'm approaching the middle of the field where they should be more so. But I'm glad I rescued them two off the bottom end. And I've got this big boomer. Happy big dais. Well, I just bumped into Mac and uh, he's on his way for a coffee. I haven't really seen anyone today so I don't know what's come up but it's nice to see that Mac's on the hammered. 
Lovely, and, and he thinks it's Edward the Third. Well done, Mac. Get a good good shot of Mac down in the stubble there. <laughs> Hopefully, we get a few more finds. Hopefully. Today. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's the main thing. What what part of Ireland are you from, Mac? Just outside Belfast, mate. Oh yeah, I was I was out there a couple of years ago, Northern Ireland, where uh, Ballycastle and all that. Oh, I know Ballycastle. Well, we had a nice uh, yeah. nice little holiday. Beautiful day. Oh, don't hit it on my video. Right, so this is the second lot of fields today. You can just see Sean's motor right in the distance. And uh, can we just have a look at these? Uh, this is Jeremy, our mate Jeremy, right, off see. Facebook, and uh, he's always watching the videos. He's not sure whether this is a brooch, but I reckon because there's like missing cogs, it might be a piece of a watch. Yeah, only because of the bit on the back, like the clasp and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, possibly, mate. Yeah. He got this, what, last week, was last, it? The last, last visit we was here a couple of weeks ago. This field. Nice, nice yeah. gothic florin. Cool. And you've had a rose farthing today. Yeah, that's it today so far. Yeah, a little, will it be a rose farthing or a, a warm roman? Yeah. Prob you're probably right with a rose farthing. Mm. He's got this big banger of uh, probably, like he said a minute ago, probably a Sunday school medal that he's had recently. There you go. There's one for Jordan. Jordan had a big banger of a, a religious one the other he did, day. Didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Steve. All right, Jeremy. Cheers, Steve. Would you like to give anyone a shout out? Anyone that's finding anything nice, well done. Happy hunting, boys. Happy, happy hunting, you, you puffs. Lovely afternoon. Uh, I was here this morning for about three hours, and that's where I got me three Romans just here. And then I moved to another field that's a drive up the lane. Uh, I haven't really had nothing, so I've come back, that that telegraph pole there, and this one, between them two, and this part of the field is where I have my Romans. So I've just got some other little target here, I'm hoping it's old, bit of a buckle or something, hopefully. Yeah, it's got the old uh, pattern. Almost looks like a fat ring pull, but I'll give it a clean. You know, it's got a nice pattern on. If you're not all that familiar with metal detecting or you're just starting, you'll hear a lot of talk of pattern. So this hasn't got a date stamp on, obviously, just a bit of an old buckle. Why would I think it's medieval? Because of that dark pattern almost black definitely go for you know it's got a good few hundred years of age that so i'm happy with that back on some little finds after not finding for a couple of hours happy dais see if we can get something in the last hour jordan was saying just a minute ago that he found an old two pence piece in it and he thought it was like really old he said, oh, I just want a hammered. He's only gone and said the hammered word and got on one. I'm on Stevie's special Roman fucking hotspot. That's what produced the hammered. That's, that's Murphy's law, mate. He's on the Roman hotspot. Oh, yes. The, the legend's quite nice. You can just about make out the crown of a Charles. Charles Halfpence or something. Oh, yeah. Those lucky trousers yet again, George. Yeah. Come on, you're not getting away. No, Come I'm on! Come on, <laughs> stop! He's doing, he's doing, he's doing the stubble bash. Got to edit the rest. Make it bass. What do you think? I am a magician. Look at it. I can see the face already, mate. Hang on, stay there, stay there. Come on, give us a stubble. Bash. <laughs> Absolutely lovely afternoon, and I've just heard Sean say we've got 15 minutes, and I was wondering whether I should uh, 
try and blag them for an extra half hour. Uh, I've got a lovely old silver coin here. I've just put... Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm really hoping this is hammered. But whatever it is, it looks super cool. Might not be hammered. It's very round. May not be hammered at all, but looks cool. Ah, it's milled. Is it William? Possibly William, but it's lovely. Oh, yes! It's beautiful. Absolute stunner. I've got that victory grin on my face. You can't see it, but Jordan is impressed with it. Look, this is after it's mate. cleaned up. And it's not William, it's George II and it's 17.45. Spin them back round again, George. Oh, it's, it's a perler on both sides, isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Oh, he's even better looking than you, mate. <laughs> mate. That's fucking hard work, that is. Yeah, graft pays off, mate, right at the end of the day. Do you want to swap it for your Charles Hammond? I don't know. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do your spot while you're videoing, mate. All right, you get you get over there. Where did you actually go? I don't want to actually. Just, just there, mate. Right, I'm going to spin around. I've got to meet him up. The just going back to the cars and I've bumped into uh, Martin. He's hard. Unfortunately, uh, it's only a quarter of one, but it's a quarter of a Roman silver denarii. And that might say Domitian, that, that little bit that I'm zoomed in on. So it might be Domitian, that. But me, Jordan, and Martin, we've all saved our bacon with some old silver coins right at the end. Well done on saving this little fragment of uh, ancient Roman history, Martin. It's been a lovely day, though, hasn't it, out yeah. here in the stubble? Sean's over there waiting to get us off the field, so we'll have a walk over. Martin just started his car up, and I thought Sean's exhaust had fell off. I'm going to get him to rev it before he goes in a minute, kids. You can you can hear what a proper detecting wagon sounds like. Ready. Right, we're out with Truin again today. Cheers, Truin. No worries, lad. And uh, Jordan's had something like yesterday. He was the first to find. We think this might be a uh, closed fastener. Hold it that way. Closed fastener and possibly got like a floral but also face on it. So like a green man type design. Well done, green man. I'm well green, mate. Yeah, green. I'm green with jealousy. <laughs> We've gotten plenty of lead. We've had a few Vicky coins. Jordan had that nice closed fastener. We're not on the hammers or anything yet, but Truen's got a lovely uh, copper of George II. He's really nice there, look. Always looking good. He almost looks like a bird or something, doesn't he? He's almost quite good looking. Jordan said he fancies him. This is 1758 George II half pence, I'm, I'm saying. And it's Truins. Hey, you're finally on the find. Yeah, you're doing better, mate, today. We, we had a feeling that you'd rally today, mate. Jordan hasn't been eating his breakfast or not on today. I've had enough coffee, though. I had a big breakfast, didn't I? Happy day, let's see if we can get on the hammers. 